All right, so good evening. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk, Sharon Campbell. So this evening, Job, chapter five. Before we get into the reading and the study, we're gonna ask the Lord a quick prayer, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, because we're gonna ask the Lord to shine our, <clears throat> shine our hearts, O loving Master, and appear a light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of your mind. So we may understand your teachings in scripture. Help us to apply what we learned after having conquered sinful desires. We may pursue the spiritual way of life. Thank you for doing all things that are pleasing to you. You Christ, your God, you are life. To you, we give glory. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, sages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. Welcome back. So great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So Job chapter 5. Thank you all again for tuning in to our evening Bible study. It's my pleasure to serve you all. The true definition of minister is to serve someone else's will. So Job chapter five. And after our study in Job, I have a closeout message that will come out of Titus chapter one, verses 10 through 16. So Job, chapter 5, Eliphaz, Job is chastened by God. Call out now, is there anyone who will answer you? And to which of the holy ones will you turn? For wrath kills a foolish man, and envy slays a simple one. I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I cursed his dwelling place. His sons are far from safety. They are crushed gate and there is no deliverer because the hungry eat up his harvest taking even from the thorns and a snare snatches their substance for affliction does not come from the dust nor does trouble spring from the ground yet man is born to trouble as the sparks fly upward but as for me i would see god and to god i will commit my cause why does great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number he gives rain on earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who are mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. He snatches the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel, the cutting, comes quickly upon them. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grow up at new time and in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword and from the mouth of the mighty, and from their hand, so the poor have hope. And injustice shuts her mouth. Behold, happy is the man who God corrects. Therefore, do not despise the chastening of the Almighty. For he bruises, but he binds up. He wounds, but his hand makes whole. He shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven, no evil shall touch you. In famine, he shall redeem you from death and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and you shall not be afraid of the destruction when it comes. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. You shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For you shall have a covenant, the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at pace. You. you shall know that your tent is in peace. You shall visit your dwelling and find nothing amiss. You shall also know that your descendants shall be many. And your offspring is like the grass of the earth, shall come to the grave at a full age. As a sheaf of grain ripens in the seasons, behold, this we have searched out, it is true. Hear it and know for yourself. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So let's look at the Orthodox Study Bible version. It's a little bit different there at the end. All right, so let's get the end. So in verse 27, it said, Behold, we searched this out. This is what we have heard. Know for yourself if you have done anything wrong. So the verse 5 has some differences too. So let's look at verse 5. For the righteous will eat what they have gathered, but they themselves will not be delivered from calamities. Their strength will be exhausted. 
All right, so let's look at the notes. All right, so St. Gregory remarks that Eliphaz's words would have been true had they been delivered against the patience of such a great man. Like the Hebrews, Eliphaz knew the acts of the Lord, but did not know his ways. That's found in Psalms 102 or Psalms 103, verse 7. So he did not know the Lord's ways, right? That's because Eliphaz was not only a, a hypocrite, he was a false teacher, spreading false doctrine. Close out message will come from Titus chapter one. We're going to read verses 10 through 16. His opposition to false teachers. Zoom in on that. This is opposition to false teachers from the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. For there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not for the sake of dishonest gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, Critons are always liars, evil beasts, lazy glutens. This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not grieving ye to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure, but even their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but in works they deny him. Be abominable, disobedient, and, dis and disqualified from every good work in the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, so let's look at the notes here. So it says false leaders also exhibit certain characteristics. They upset rather than reconcile. Let's look at verse 11. Verse 11. Whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole households, teaching things that they ought not for the sake of dishonest gain. They have an eye for personal profit. That was also in verse 11. Lack discipline, integrity, verses 12 and 13. Let's go and take a look at this. Right there, 12. It says, one of them, a prophet of their own, said, Crittons are always liars, evil beasts, lazy glutens. This testimony is true, therefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Misjudge reality. Here, setting up what external laws when the uncleanness, uncleanness is what internal. Verses 14 and 15. Look at right there, verse 14. Zoom in. And it says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience are defiled. Whoa. Lastly, and are what? Immoral. Bad theology leads to what? Right there, bad behavior. I say that all the time. It's beautiful. So bad theology leads to bad behavior. Look at verse 16. Right there, they profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being adoptable, disobedient, and disqualified from every good work. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's Aliphaz, right? Job's buddy was talking to, right? He was preaching to Job. Preaching to Job. But he did not know the true ways of the Lord. Instead, he was just he was making himself sound better than Job. But he wasn't understanding that this that suffering is part of the faith, right? That's the thing. 
a lot of people sometimes don't understand that, that our faith is all about struggle. How can you have faith without struggle? Not everything goes smoothly, but it can't, right? If everything went smoothly, then, then there would be no need for any of this, right? But no, we have struggle because we need struggle. It's a struggle. It's knowing that we're weak in the flesh. And that Christ is what saves us from ourselves. He saves us from ourselves, so from our sins. Because right? no matter how hard we all work, right? It doesn't matter your works, right? At the end of the day, we all fall short. That's why what saves us is God's mercy, right? Each and every day we ask the Lord's mercy, his forgiveness. And we try to keep walking in that step. But we ask for that because we fall short each and every day. So each and every day, every morning, every evening, you should ask for his mercy and forgiveness. And you move on with your day. But you have to do that every day. You ask him for his mercy and forgiveness. And have an opposition to people like Eliphaz, right? Those people are wrong. We have an opposition to those false teachers. But we have to do it with love, compassion, humility, right? It can be done. But that's all I have for this evening. Right? Another good study. Thank you all so much. It means so much for all of you to, to follow these studies. Right? Thank you all so much. we we'll close out. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, just want your divine saving words illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. We don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. You are light, you give glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. Sages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, but give us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, the sages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you all. Lord, peace, shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord let them his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the, name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, sages. Amen. Jerry Wesley Campbell, good evening, good night. Whenever and however all these messages find you, these studies, I love you all so much. JPCE Spiritual Talk, never, ever hold back. Right? You seek truth, seek him, lay them treasures in heaven. Give him your heart, he does the rest. It's about a relationship, it's not about religion, right? Walk the path of righteousness. I love you all so much. I'm out.